All right, let's uh, let's let's hang out with Oliver here, and uh, then I'll get out of here. Okay, so this is Oliver's portfolio. Oh yeah, uh, Pandora. Sorry, Oliver. We're gonna answer Pandora's question in chat real quick. What's up? What was your question? Just. Oh, uh, DM me and let's find out. I'll answer it after the, uh, after the stream and no problem, man. Sorry. I missed your question. Uh, okay. So we got Oliver here. Oliver is, uh, 3d modeling furniture. Not really just want some feedback. Okay. Let's, let's look at your, oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's kind of creepy. Wait, what's this one here? So this is a very, um, so you're creative director, 3D artist, designer. So this is three, two years ago, two years ago. Some interesting scenes here. So it looks like you really got into like interior design. So a little bit of, um, style stylistic choice stuff going on in here what is earth what is earth there it is that's earth hello that's pretty cool glass sphere i oh, mean i actually really like these types of renders the in the cube yeah there's some abstract stuff in here though for sure so this scene's it's really simple and the trees um I mean, this is a year ago, so I wouldn't worry about it. But uh, you could probably use trees. What is this in? This is just Blender. You get this into Unreal, and you get access to so many pretty trees, like, automatically. You could just get them in there. This is also just Blender. Um, let's see what this one is. Tunnel. Blender as well. So you're just doing Blender renders. Oh, man, my nose. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. No. Dude, the materials on this stuff look really cool. Oh, man, the magnet on the side there. Dude, that brings back some memories. Yeah, there's some pretty abstract stuff in here. Um, what? That's um uh, so there's there's maybe too many images here to like scroll through for all the different render passes. Getting them next to each other would look really nice. Like if you could do three at a time and then three more. The end result though is quite impressive. That looks really nice. It's like super real. Uh oh, my nose is running. What's happening here? Let me scroll up here. Okay, so this looks like when you started getting into furniture. <laughs> this looks really nice. And the edges, the attention to detail on the edges to try and soften those up so they don't uh, kind of give off that geometric modeled look. Your materials are pretty on point as well. Like the roughness is kind of displaying the surface correctly. Oh, dude, what is going on with my nose? Sorry, I'm sniffling in your portfolio review. <laughs> this, uh, all right, so, okay. When people make scenes like this, usually it doesn't really feel lived in. So if there's things you can do for scenes like this that make them feel more realistic, just with the way they're inhabited, It's just like adding little, like a cup here, a coaster, maybe a blanket, you know, from like a, a throw rug or a throw 
that goes on your on your couch. I like the accent color on the wall. That's really nice. That small trim thing down there, this is very European feeling. Did I just watch Maru and me? <laughs> so emotional. Hang on, let me see if there's, okay, it's just a single image. I'm just so emotional about this furniture. I, I mean, this stuff looks really good. It's really cool to see that it's just Blender. 4K, 100 or 1,000 samples. Let's see what's going on here. So you can see this top edge here is very straight. So getting that kind of unevenness going through that the rest of the blanket is, is experiencing would be really, really key. The creases in the pillows are almost, if not identical, so watch out for those issues. I think your normals might be flipped on your wall. You see how like the sun's over here shining this way and you see the shadows over there and yet the highlight is happening on the flip side. So it actually looks like these, these crevices are sticking out. So watch out for that. Man, this is looking pretty good though. The rug too, look at the rug. That's crazy. Okay, so there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Oh, whoops. Hang on. This is a nice kit of very similar materials. Oh, man, there's a ton of stuff in here. Have you thought about, yeah, I was going to say, are you selling this stuff? Because you probably should just put it in the marketplace. Why not? <laughs> nice this wood material is very strange feeling like very unlit i guess or like in shadow the, the cracks become very dark it's a strange material i think maybe if this edge was beveled it would feel a little better it's like it feels really sharp which maybe in real life it is but the the edge is just really in 3d it just looks weird <laughs> Um, simulating some more of the fabric softening on the edges here would be nice. Maybe look at like what surfaces look like when they're sat in a lot. Yeah, just getting some, some, making this feel softer would, would help a lot, I think. Oh, okay, now we're getting, now we're getting kind of crazy. That's interesting. I mean, so when we look at stuff like this, watch out for this stuff. So if, if you're going to be doing this pattern, I would make a bespoke material to match the shape. And then where, where these bars go in, they need to have like a, like a base for where they, where they drop. Um, and then this doesn't look like you finished it at all yet. Like this feels like you're still working on it actually. Uh, the tiling of this material, it, it also feels stretched and it's really big. But yeah, watch out for the way that you're UV mapping this stuff and how things clip. Make sure that this looks like a cardboard box. I think that's a cardboard box. And just keep, uh, keep building it out. Like the, the resolution of this wall seems really low. And there's just some odd colors that I think just need addressing as to like what, what you're trying to build out here. It's an interesting space. What is this? It's a giant reflective wall. It's interesting. Yeah, and then you've got this great material. Is there a reason for the great material? You know, because if there's not, then you want to make sure that you're maybe switching it up like maybe this is the great material and then this is solid and then in here is solid it's like maybe this is here so that if there's any water that spills in or it rains or something i don't know if it can rain in here that it it falls in between this space oh look at this the bottle makes a return 
Pretty cool though. You're definitely uh looks like you're trying to expand yourself when you're working on that type of scene. Oh dang, this looks good. Simple yet complex. Look, you can even see the seam lines where stuff connects. Dang, that's cool. Materials are nice. Pretty spot on. Wait, what? Dude, that's crazy. I dude, it's so crazy you're still in Blender. The thing that's breaking down the most for me in this shot actually is uh this blanket thing here and then the the plants. There's your throw I was talking about. Now, I guess you're not really doing this for video games, right? But like make sure that you're not using all this geometry um if you don't need to, right? I guess it's maybe it's sub D, I don't know. And really make it look like people sit on here all the time. Maybe even just slight discoloration, like lightening or darkening around the areas where people sit, just so there's some stuff, right? Less geometry is still faster render, so it'll be worth it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, I mean, dude, we went through all this stuff. So some really um, abstract stuff in the beginning at the earlier stuff, but not necessarily a bad thing. It does make your portfolio look a little bit more dated. And I think actually if you were to start maybe here, remove this guy, but then start here and just have these, your, your portfolio would look pretty nice. And I think you could actually maybe remove this one for now until uh, you finish the pass on it. If this is complete, I don't think it's done. I would revisit this. And if you don't feel like revisiting it, I would just remove it. So you'd have these three, these three, these three, this one, and this one, and then the rest I would remove. Yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. Ikea should hire you. Dude, it's so crazy. None of their stuff is real in their magazines. Yeah, cool. I think uh, I think that, that's it for the this review. That's not true? Okay. I'll believe you, Muck.